Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows dilated gut loops with intestinal obstruction in a female child of about 10 years. You can see the gut loops and these are dilated with to and fro whirling movements of the intestinal contents. The main finding in bowel obstruction include dilated but gut loops with or without the presence of fluid levels. On sonography, bowel obstruction is considered to be present when the lumen of the fluid filled small bowel loops is dilated more than 3 cm in adults. The length of the segment is more than 10 cm and peristalsis of the dilated segment is increased as shown by to and fro or whirling mo motion of the bowel contents. As you can see in this video, you can see the to and fro or whirling mo mo motion of the bowel contents, intestinal contents. So you can see in this case the intestinal diameter is 23.9 millimeter and if the female is, is the patient is a female child so the dil gut loops are dilated and you can see the movements of the intestinal contents on spine images small bowel obstruction often demonstration demonstrate a step ladder pattern of dilated loops of the bowel that appears to be stacked on one another variable amount of gas is seen in the colon depending on severity and duration of the obstruction a gasless abdomen can also be seen if distended loops are fluid filled readily accessible in the emergency department abdominal ultrasound can facilitate diagnosis of small bowel obstruction an imaging modality readily available in the emergency department with bedside ultrasound can assist in quickly diagnosing this condition. So what is the, now the most common cause of intestinal obstruction is small bowel obstruction is caused by a variety of pathological processes. The most common cause of SBO, small bowel obstruction in developed countries is intra-abdominal adhesions accounting for approximately 65 to 75% of cases followed by hernia, Crohn's disease, malignancy and valvulus. Now typical movements as I have already described to and fro movements of the intestinal contents are seen as there is obstruction the intestinal contents cannot pass further downwards and they come back to and fro movements of the intestinal contents is seen now the signs and symptoms of the intestinal obstruction include crampy abdominal pain that comes and goes loss of appetite then constipation, vomiting, inability to have a bowel movement or pass gas, and swelling of the abdomen. The most common causes of intestinal obstruction, as I have already described, the common symptoms are nausea and vomiting, crampy abdominal pain and discomfort. So how to unblock the obstructions? So drink plenty of water every day to prevent dehydration. Drink other fluids such as prurine juice, coffee or tea that acts as natural laxative. Eat foods that are high in fiber such as whole wheat, pears, oats and vegetables. Reduce your intake of food that are high in sugar which can cause constipation. This, this is not the treatment. This is the, this, these are the preventive measures that you can avoid this situation of intestinal obstruction. So in patients with small bowel obstruction, supine view 
shows dilatation of the multiple loops of the small bowls with the paucity of air in the large bowl. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.